Ibelbet. Ibelbet. Little Ibelbet. Ibelbet. Welcome to Ibelbet, where we cover the most trendy news of the day. My name is Kelsey, and this is... It's your boy, uh, uh, Smiley. The ripple effects of the coronavirus are being felt in higher education. Notre Dame is moving all undergraduate classes online for two weeks, and Michigan State is going fully remote for the semester. Michigan State University costs about $14,000 per semester, all for an online class. I wonder if this is going to be something that many other universities adopt. So far, about 30% of four-year colleges have plans of switching to fully online. So what do you think about online mm, courses, college courses? For the courses? first time ever, I'll get perfect attendance. It's gonna be crazy. Right? I will oh not miss a class. God, it's gonna be a so point. awesome. I'm ready. A little Wait. expensive though, 14,000 for perfect attendance is a little steep price tag, but hey. When we think of Apple, we think of the Macintosh, the iPod, the iPhone, Steve Jobs, but in 2005, there was something happening at Apple that only four people knew about. A special iPod that was built for the U.S. Department of Energy. Former iPod engineer David Scheer said they wanted to add some custom hardware to an iPod and record data from this custom hardware to the iPod's disk in a way that couldn't be easily detected. Scheer says his guess is that DOE wanted to develop a stealth Geiger counter. What is a Geiger counter? Basically to see if things have radioactivity. The government could use this to find evidence of a dirty bomb program. A dirty bomb program. If you can't go out to eat or travel, what are you supposed to do? Home improvement, baby, at home. Lowe's has a 30% increase in revenue and a 68.7% increase in profits. The home improvement store said it spent $460 million this quarter on higher hourly wages, safety, and supporting local communities. Target also saw an increase in sales this quarter and a 700% increase in curbside pickups, y'all. Online purchases are going bonkers. Uh, Kelsey, what are you, Kelsey? Heidi Ho, neighbor. Oh, 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 oh. I got you, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> we missed covering the anniversary yesterday, but it has been a hundred years since Congress passed the 19th Amendment. Our Ibelbiz host, Sherry, shout out Sherry, posted inside of our app yesterday talking about it. Hey guys, it's Sherry here. Did you know that today, this year, marks the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment? I plead the fifth because I don't know what the 19th Amendment is. Which is guaranteeing and protecting women's constitutional right to vote. That is awesome. Kudos, that's my bad. You know what, kudos to the 19th Amendment. And we also got news that President Trump will be pardoning Susan B. Anthony for breaking the laws um, in order for women to vote. So that's really, really exciting. Make sure you do your research, make sure you register to vote, and rock the vote in November. Have you been on Google today? If so, you notice the homepage has a chalkboard with chemical elements on it. Google is honoring Julius Lothar Meyer, who is one of the scientists to discover placing elements on the periodic table. He was born in Germany on August 19th, which is today in 1830. Google also shares some of the early concept art. Super cool. Uh, what do you think about that? periodic table like I could never like really remember like who was responsible for it so this actually story like brings it to light I think that's pretty awesome it is really awesome I mean to be the one that actually like was part of putting that together that's like going down in history no matter what I mean it's yep. science you know what absolutely I mean? it's so. it's science bro <laughs> it's science bro <laughs> last night Michelle Obama gave her speech during the Democratic National Convention and something unexpected was noticed. She was wearing a gold necklace that said boat on it, and it was a spark of business for Sherry Cuthberg, who owns a boutique jewelry line called By Cherry. Only 12 hours after Obama's speech, around 2,000 orders were placed for the boat necklace. Meredith Coop, Obama's stylist for the last decade, said the necklace was just part of Obama's outfit. It was the core for her entire look. Would you wear that necklace? I would. I think it's really beautiful that she's encouraging everybody to vote with a necklace. I think it brings business to Absolutely. the boutique owner. Absolutely. And I think it's a win-win. $300 is affordable for the, mo I mean, I don't yeah. know. It's not the worst. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you guys tomorrow. Smiley and I will see you next time. And we'll see y'all back here in a little bit. All right. Little bit. Little Just a little bit. bit. Okay. Just and a little bit. And we'll see y'all back here in a little bit. A little bit. bit. Ibble bit. Ibble bit. See you in a little Ibble, Ibble bit. bit. I like See that. See you in a little Ibble bit. See you in a little bit of Ibble bit. Little bit. Little Ibble bit. Little bit of Ibble bit. See you in a little bit. She got us. Little bit in the Ibble bit.